back again with another theatre trip vlog. Today I'm off to see Dream Girls at the Savoy Theatre. Last week I saw Aladdin and that was super fun to vlog, so this week I'll be doing Dream Girls. I've been really excited to see it, um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be a fun trip. and the show is absolutely incredible. I can't put it into words. Like, it's an emotional roller coaster. I've laughed, I cried, literal tears came out of my eyes when Amber Riley started singing and I'm telling you, I'm just, it's, it's too much. It's too much, it's just, I'm just feeling so overwhelmed, there's so much black girl magic going on. I was like, yes, queen, yes. Yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted. I'll do another um, after, after the um, show ends, but I just can't deal. Yeah, uh, just a quick funny story before I go back into the show. Someone, <laughs> the people next to me thought that I was Amber Riley. Can you imagine? Um, I've been told I look like her before, but I'm not sure if this guy just thought all black girls look the same. But irregardless, he, he was in the VIP um, like drinks bar and he was like, you can come get a free drink, I'm so sorry. But um, <laughs> I'm just gonna milk people thinking I look like Amber Riley, it's amazing. But yeah, going back in now. I'm just leaving the theatre and going to the stage door. Immediate reactions. It was amazing. Really needed that. Like, Dream Girls has cleansed my soul. I just can't even deal right now. <laughs> Riley didn't actually come out I was super sad about that but the security guard told me as a joke that I should like just come out through the stage door um, and pretend that I'm her and people will just believe it I don't actually see the resemblance what do you guys so I've just got home from dream girls so I thought I would talk a bit about it whilst it's still fresh in my mind so what to say about Dream Girl? So I'd already seen the film before I went to see it on stage. So I already knew what it was about. I knew the plot. I knew most of the songs. So I had very high expectations of it because Dream Girl's a film. I don't really like film adaptations of musicals, but Dream Girl's is so well done. Like the cast are flawless and it's just really dynamic. So I had very high expectations when I went to the theatre and honestly it did not fall short of it. It was absolutely, it was everything and more than I expected it to be. So at first it took me a little while to get into the show. It's one of those musicals that just starts. There's no, it doesn't really, how do I explain it? It just opens up and just gets right into the action. So you're just a bit like, oh, well, it started, okay. So it took me a little bit, a bit of time to warm up and get into it. It was still a really good introduction, but I just didn't get into it straight away. But Step Into the Bad Side was a massive turning point. It just completely changed from a nice like musical into something that was, wow, this is amazing. So then I really got into it at that point and the staging just transformed, the lighting just transformed, but I'll talk a bit about that later. So like usual, I've got my little notes. <laughs> so I'll just talk about some of the things I really enjoyed. Um, and also the song Family was amazing. So this is where Amber Riley um, starts talking about herself, um, what's happening. I don't really want to spoil the musical if you haven't seen it, so I won't, do, no spoilers. And 
Amber Riley's like falsetto nearly brought me to tears. It was just amazing. It just like stirred my heart when she started singing that song. And it was a very close harmony. So there were probably about um, eight people on stage and they had all had different harmony lines. And it just came together beautifully. It was just, oh, it was so delicious for the ears. It was amazing. And then uh, the um, scene ended with, Oh, my thing's on the screen again. Um, the scene ended with, and I am telling you, and I talked about that earlier, but honestly, that song, <laughs> when she sang the first sentence, like, people started cheering. It was a really um, engaged audience. That, that was really lucky. And the soul in her voice, that song just triggered me. I was just like, I can relate. When Effie was singing to Curtis, I was like, oh, yes, queen, slay. I was just moved to tears. It was amazing. Naturally, you always compare the film to the movie, and Jennifer Hudson was amazing in the movie, but Amber Riley, she was just next level. Just the gravel in her voice was just so moving. And... Yeah, and it just really triggered me. I just started crying. I just, I was, I just, I could just relate to everything she was thinking about. That it was, yeah. And Act Two was actually even better than Act One, if that was possible. It was just so fast paced. Like just everything kept on happening, happening, happening. You just, and that's really exciting in a musical. Sometimes like scenes can get long, but this everything was just happening all the time so it was really fast paced and exciting and let me just go and talk about some of the other songs so i just thought i'd talk about some of the musical numbers now and this is from the um souvenir brochure and i've pretty much talked about all the act one songs that i really liked it was all great but i had a few favorites and in act two there were also some even better songs uh, in my opinion uh like i really enjoyed the rap really randomly it was um sung by um uh, Jimmy and I met him after the show and he was super friendly and I've had the rap in my head the whole day like Jimmy got soul Jimmy got soul Jimmy got Jimmy got Jimmy got soul <laughs> yeah I just had it in my head the whole day and what other things did I like like I am changing that was such a dynamic song and that was um sung by Amber Riley um who played Effie White um Effie, uh, played by Amber, most of you will know her from um, Glee. Um, I used to watch Glee, I never really followed it religiously, but um, that's where I knew her from, and I've seen her in The Wiz as well. And um, Curtis Taylor Jr. was played by Joe Aaron Reed in my show, so it was great to have um, the main actors for that. And we also had the um, main Dina, so the main three characters, we had them, and we had the main Jimmy as well. But um, the only one we didn't have as the main was uh, Laurel Robinson. We had the main C.C. White and we had the main Marty. So I was really lucky, even though I don't mind it when I have um, understudies or swings because they're just as talented, it was kind of nice to have the main characters and I was so happy I got to meet Amber Riley. Um, the onstage chemistry between um, Effie and Curtis was amazing and all the other dreams. Um, the other Loretta was played by this lady. <laughs> I got my program signed, lol. Um, <laughs> and that's Candy's um, full Ferbert. Ferbert, yeah, and she was great. You went, I didn't actually realise she was an understudy until after the show when she didn't sign the main page. I thought it was her, I thought it was her who played the main one. And the costume. I'll just talk about that more abstract stuff now. Um, where is it? Yeah, so just look how great the costumes and set were. It was just so beautiful. I absolutely loved it. Um, there was a clear contrast between the start of the show and this was stepping to the bad side. And this was the main turning point of the show, I think. This is when the um, lighting became more dynamic. The staging really came into being amazing. At the start, it was a bit more um, plain. So that just shows the transformation, I think. And I'm a sucker for costumes that transform from one thing into another. And this costume was one of them. It started off as like a... Um, like a skirt suit or something like that and then then there's like a there's not even a blackout and then she just pulls this thing and it turns into this amazing peacock looking number and it was just beautiful I'm a, I love things like that it's like magic and yeah so the costume was lovely um 
and the set was really dynamic like I said so um things were kept on moving throughout the whole show and they had bright lights and it was just phenomenal 10 out of 10 I would give it so yeah I just really love Dreamgirls I can't rave about it enough if you haven't seen it buy your tickets and go see Dreamgirls it's a 10 out of 10 show must see it literally buy your tickets go see it <laughs> so next week I will be going to see I'm not sure what I'm going to see actually um, let me check um, so according to my diary I'm going to see the Book of Mormon next week yeah I also plan to vlog Book of Mormon and it's a bit different to some of the stuff I've seen before but I've heard some great stuff about it so yeah I think that'll be a really interesting day out I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, if you've seen Dream Girls, comment, tell me what you thought about it. If you haven't seen it, then if you have any questions about the show, just comment as well. So yeah, see you guys next week.